everyone. Let's keep this civil. This is a most auspicious night. I see before me the members of the 30 Thorns. And my own group, my gang, my crew, my brothers and sisters, the mighty Shiver Scars. The two mightiest gangs in all of Budapest gathered in one spot. I look through this crowd and I see warriors. All right, Rekka, enough with the flattery. It took a lot of work to get this summit together and my thorns don't like to wait. Talk while the truth still holds. Thank you, Jolan. You're right. I appreciate you keeping your people in check. If the police knew what was happening, they'd love to kick down that warehouse door and take us all in. Or take us all out. You speak truth. But that's exactly why we needed to talk. Tensions are high. Blood has been spilled on both sides. We're willing to hear you out as long as there are no more surprises. Oh, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hope we're not interrupting anything. Ox and Hare presents, in association with True Story FM, the Swashbuckling Ladies Debate Society. Today's adventure, Words, Actions, and Intent. So, tell us about this auntie. She's sure been tough to find. Bad design. Auntie Reka has always lived outside traditional laws. Is this where you walked on the wild side? In effect, I learned very early that the lower classes must fend for themselves. She showed me that many of the rules and laws were designed to punish those who displeased the rich and powerful. She became your own personal Robin Hood? Sadly, no. I would not say that she had a heart of gold, but she was fiercely loyal and took care of those she considered family. Which includes you. It did. I hope it still does. It seems she has risen through the ranks as she now commands a group that we used to work for. They are called the Shiverskar. Ooh, that's spooky. Is there a story behind it? If there is, oh, we never learned it. Much like the name of the city we are in, Budapest. No one is quite sure why it has that particular sobriquet. Well, we've knocked enough heads together to find out your old gang is meeting here tonight. Hey, I don't mean to judge, but we're about to walk in on a gang meeting. Might be time to mask up, just in case. It'll be fun, but if it makes you feel safer, then so be it. There. Happy? As a clam. Why would a clam be your measurement of joy? (sighs) Never mind. We've come all this way. Let's say hello. After you, my love. Who are these masked women? I have no idea. Ah, Reka, there you are. You know them? It's a trap. Thorns, attack! They are not pleased to see you. Who are all these people? It appears we have disrupted a summit of some kind. Uh, Who are the good guys and who are the bad guys? No idea. But my loyalties lie with Reka. I see her near the platform. You work your way over. We'll see if we can minimize the casualties. There's nothing casual about this fight. She means... Never mind. See to your auntie. We'll work to stop the blood loss. I'm sorry. Things got out of control. We knew that was a possibility. This isn't your fault. And in fact, I see several ways we can get this back on track. I was afraid you'd be mad that you'd call off the... This isn't math. These are people. And we understand that sometimes they don't add up the way you expect. And speaking of unpredictable behavior, I see the fly in our ointment is buzzing your way. I'll catch up with you later. Rika, it's me, Zinia. Little Zinia? You? What are you doing here? Uh, making a mess of things, it seems. Who is that man? What man? The one in the mask? It's nothing to concern yourself about. We need to focus on saving the gang. Yes, of course. 
What were you trying to do here tonight? Get a bit of peace for ourselves. Shiverscar has been at war with 30 Thorns for the past two years, and it's getting more and more brutal. They're savage, cruel. I finally managed to get them here, and... And I knocked it all down. Merde. No, don't take all the blame. They are a violent group. I expect if it hadn't been you, it would have been me. One wrong word and they'd have set on us like the animals they are. What can I do to make this up to you? My first priority is to keep my people alive. Of course. But then, mm, maybe you can help. Almost all of them are here. This could be a way to bring the rampage to an end. By subduing them and letting the police take them in. Sure, let's do that. Consider it done. Tienya, it's good to see you again. I look forward to catching up. And I as well. Whoa, careful there. You almost nailed me with that. Is that a baseball bat with nails in it? Lady, have some pride in your weaponry. Liberté, you're back. How'd it go? As well as can be expected, considering we've ruined that tenuous peace summit. We do make a big first impression. What's the plan? Subdue all the 30 sounds, then turn them over to the authorities. That will be an interesting challenge, as the Shiverscar members seem to be out for blood. If the task were easy, we'd be out of work. And we'd be forced to retire to a beautiful mansion in the south of France overlooking the sea. How terrible. Is that what you wanted? Because I didn't know that was your desire. What was that for? You silly woman. Don't you understand? I get to have both. And as long as you're next to me, in either one, I'm happy. Then kiss me again, and then we end a gang war. Just what I needed. Allons-y. And take that. Oh, dang, these folks don't know when to quit. Liberté, how are you? Just a moment and I will... Damn, another sword broken. Egalité. One last repost and... Disarmed. Thank you, my dear. And as for you, madame... I understand. You've defeated me, but just make it quick. And don't force them to watch. What are you talking about? My death... You beat me fair and square, and if you're the out-of-town killer she hired, I expect my death will be bloodier than usual. Just get it over with. You have it all wrong. We're here to subdue you, not kill you. I doubt your bosses would approve that. What do you mean? We want to stop your bloody rampage to prevent you from killing more of the Shiverscar. Prevent us? You're the ones who started this fight. Who killed us, hunted down our families, hung their bodies in the streets. We're not trying to win. <laughs> We're trying to survive. How do we know you're not lying? I'm beaten. I'm at your mercy. You're going to kill me. What's the point of lying? If you don't believe me, ask around. Hell, pick up a newspaper. We're no angels, but you're working for the devil. Ladies, we need to be elsewhere, and fast. You're right. Liberté? What have I done? We need to go. Have I become an instrument of evil? We'll figure it out. Together. But somewhere else. Yes, I understand. Let us away. How's Zinnia doing? Not great. Let's see if we can cheer her up. Hey, Zin. How's it going? It's all true. Everything that woman said. Shiverskar are the most ruthless band of criminals Budapest has seen in years. And we just helped eliminate the only thing keeping them in check. To be fair, it looked like they were close to accomplishing that on their own. We merely accelerated the process. This does not make me feel better. But it's not just that. Another broken sword. At least it wasn't the Fleissa. Ugh, oh, it's not just that either. It's all of it. Plus, I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed about what? We've all made mistakes. No, I mean, this whole trip has been an embarrassment. 
I wanted to take you on a fun whirlwind tour, introduce you to the women who helped raise me, and all for nothing. They've forgotten me or turned out to be criminals. Crazed opera divas. Or dead. Not helping. Sorry. But there's still Carmen Crimson, which I admit still has its fair share of problems. And now this. My auntie, who was never on the proper side of the law, has now slipped fully to the other side. Maybe she's not evil. What if she's just a terrible leader who has allowed all these things to happen under her reign? She's not bad. She's inept. You are not doing well today. I'm really not. Okay, then. Enough talk. Let's have some action. What's the plan? We leave. What? We leave. We saw who we came here to see. We did what we came here to do. So we go. We can't just... Can we just... Why not? Look at it mathematically. We stopped one gang. Median good. We call it a marginal victory and head out. But... But we... But what? What do you think we should do? Take on a vicious street gang? Just the three of us? Look, I know what we're capable of, but the numbers don't work. A brutal fight on unfamiliar terrain against an unknown number, and we're down to our last scraps when it comes to weaponry. You make a compelling case. Wow. We've lost battles before, but this one really stings. Tell Bella to pull the... Enough belly aching. It's time to get serious. Lady Voss, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but it's misplaced. The only thing I see misplaced is your heads, which seem to have been relocated to the interior of your rectums. Please, now is not the time. It is exactly the time. Your problem is that you don't know what your problem is. And I suppose you do? I do. I have. And I've been waiting for you to figure it out. And what is our problem? Actually, Goldie, it's just them. You're perfect. Would you like a pretzel? It's just come out of the fire. Yes, please. It's you two that need adjustment. Look, dealing with parents is always a chore. When you're a child, they're wonderful. As a teenager, they're tyrannical oppressors. Then you leave home... And they're distant and needy. Or murderous assassins who join forces with your archenemies. Yes, I've met your mother. Too much to unpack there. But we're talking about mother figures, not the biological kind. You've finally seen them as real people. Flawed, selfish, distant people who didn't know much about children, but they did what they could. Some good some less so. Is there a dazzling insight on the way, or are you just reopening fresh wounds? But that's just it. You're retrying cases you've already closed. You've already done the work and gotten the reward. What are you talking about? For smart women, you really can be thick. You're lamenting about how bad your aunties are, and maybe were, but don't you see... You are the aunties now. We're what? You opened your home to lost pups, dedicating your lives to helping them. You've been mothering them all in your way, and you've already figured out the biggest secret to good parenting. And what is that? Do better than was done to you. They ignored you. Shower yours with attention. They starved you. Constantly have food. They hurt you? Don't hurt yours. It is not that simple. Of course not. You'll make a hundred mistakes, but you won't do what hurt you. They say that broken people break people, but repaired people repair people too. The people we help are not our children. We're certainly not their mothers. No. You're better, because you don't have expectations for them. Saffron, we both know what it's like growing up in the shadow of who you're expected to be. What does this all add up to? Are you telling us to go or stay? I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm long past that. I'm saying you already know what you should do, what you're going to do. 
Just own it. You aren't children anymore. Be the grown-ups you wish had been around for you. Saffron, I want you to go back there, get in Rekka's face, and tell her what I think of her. And I want to stop her whole gang. Then I want to take you back to our room and make this whole train shake. That's the spirit. And I'll be playing my record specially loud tonight. Wait, hold up. I'm loving all of this, and I don't want to dark cloud your silver lining, but it's still just us against them, and we're down to practice sabers. Actually, that's something I can help with. Follow me. Whoa, I've never seen inside your car before. Is that an oven? No, it's a forge. One of my hobbies is blacksmithing. Does that include making swords? In fact, it does. And I've been working on some for you. Just waiting until you are ready. I'm ready! I'm ready! Then we'll start with you, Goldie. <gasps> oh, it's heavier than I thought. Only in the middle, and that is by design. It's reinforced titanium on the pommel. Nothing is getting through that. Plus, in a pinch, you can knock some teeth out with it. Try it in your left hand. Okay, but why would I... Oh, I see. It fits just as nicely there. It's like it was made for my hand. It was. I stole a pair of your favorite gloves, plus the measurements I took. That handle was designed specifically for you. You are a switch hitter, and I want you to be able to use it just as well in either hand. But that's not all. What's the switch near my thumb? A surprise for anyone you're fighting. Click it to the midpoint. <gasps> a concealed blade in the bottom of the handle. Neat! Not exactly. Swing it the rest of the way. Whoa! The entire blade slid through the handle. Suddenly, the downward stroke becomes an upward stroke. They won't know where you're going to hit them from. The engineering is sound. It won't get stuck or slide out. Guaranteed. It's amazing. She. And her name is Pragmatic. Hello, Pragmatic. I love you. Now you, Blondie. I'd be happy with one of those. No, you wouldn't. Not when you see what I've created for you. This one is much lighter and sharper. I've seen how you move. You glide. And this sword won't stop that. It will flow with you. It's gorgeous. Pretty sword for a pretty lady. All that frilly lattice work along with the knuckle bow and loop guard. It's not just decoration. It's laced with diamond shards. You can slice through practically anything. Ropes, skin, whatever you need. This might be the most perfectly balanced sword I've ever held. And because I know it's not designed to stop heavy blows, it comes with an accessory. Left arm, please. I started with a manica and then embellished from there. This will stop most swipes, allowing you to get in and under and go snick-a-snack. It's armor, but it's so beautiful. Zinnia, look at all the flowers etched into the metal. It's saffrons and zinnias intertwined. Goldie, look. It's so pretty. No, here by the wrist. I believe those are marigolds. Sharp eyes. Aww. Does she also have a name? Of course. I'd like you to meet Filigree. Filigree. We're going to be spending a lot of time with each other. And now you, Red. You were the toughest of the bunch. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Here is your sword. Oh my. So black. Is it obsidian? It is not. And it's not specifically black. In the sunlight, it's more iridescent. But it's a sword that shows you mean business. Tell me about it. It's stronger than it looks, tougher than it seems and sharper than you can imagine. Just like its wielder. Exactly. You got the edge on one side, serrated down the back, ready for whatever you can encounter. Are you saying it goes both ways? Just like... Hush you! And it won't break. That's a bold claim. No, 
Put it in your will. This will outlive us all. I've never seen any metal like it. And you never will. When I say that the sword is one of a kind, I don't mean in Europe. I mean in the universe. What does that mean? What is it made out of? Zinium. There is no such thing. There is now. I just named it, because I made that sword out of a meteorite. You have a space sword? I suppose I do. How did you come by this? That uh, is a long story. And while it is a visitor, it's been here a long, long time. I've always wanted to do something with it, and now I have. And what do I call this space sword? How about auntie? My, that's nice. I'm kidding. <laughs> you are holding Libertine. Lady Voss, you are positively wicked. You're just getting that? And it's Rowan. Rowan, these blades, the time, the cost. They are gifts. The time was mine to give, the cost was mine to bear, and the price is to go and do good with them. Thank you. It's a price we're happy to pay. Libertine. Filigree. Pragmatic. I believe we owe it to these new swords to use them to dispense some justice. Don't you agree? It'd be a crime not to. Let's slice up some evil. It's clear to see. I've made sure that the 30 thorns have been broken up and arrested, which means that Shiver's car is the largest force remaining in the city. This is not what was agreed to. You assured us that you would be able to merge the two gangs, making it an unstoppable force. Circumstances changed. But that means we have more fighters on the street, able to be recruited to our cause. With your resources, I see no reason why we can't double, maybe even triple our size. Then not even the police can stop us. Hmm, it's a bold plan, but then I am a gambling man. I see no reason why Shiverscar should not become a member of the formality. So this was your plan? To join up with a larger evil? It wasn't enough to lie to me. Now you're lying to all of them. Your gang. Your family. Zinnia, I thought you'd left town. I tried to do exactly that. But I couldn't wash the stink of your corruption from my nose. What happened to all you told me about helping those who also suffer? About standing in solidarity to those who have been abused by the systems? How many? How many people do I need to take in? To wipe the blood off of, to feed, to house? There's always more, all with their hands out. And now what? Because you found a way to cash out, their problems will be solved? I saw a way to escape the cycle, to rise to where I should have been all along. On the backs of those who you betrayed. It's whom? But don't let me interrupt. Saffron? That's you, isn't it? Yes? Do I know you? Do you know me? Of course you... I mean, no, we haven't formally met. I am Monty Bank, representative of the formality. Enchanté. At last, a villain with manners. And you certainly know how to wear a suit. Let's say you take off the mask so we can see eye to eye. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. And what is your business here? My business is my business. And doesn't concern any of you, I'm afraid. You understand how delicate negotiations can be, and how one small mistake might undo what should have been. You can understand that, can't you, madam? I'm the one trying to flirt with him, but he's only got eyes for you. Who is this guy? I have no idea. The formality have been moving all through the lands formerly controlled by the six and making deals with the criminals who used to be kept in check by the emperor's forces. How close to your business am I, monsieur? Well, you have flitted away from your home on some deranged sightseeing tour. Gibraltar, Madrid, Brussels, your passports must be very colorful by now. But while you're away, who's minding Massalia? The fishwife and the art student? It is so hard to find good help these days, is it not? Is that a threat? I feel like that was a threat. 
I've got a new sword, and I've been meaning to break it in. No threats and no need for violence. This is only our first hand. I just wanted to show you that we have some cards to play, too. The formality is all about calm negotiations, not hostile takeovers. We want to run the table, not flip it over. Please, Mr. Bank, these three have nothing to do with me or our deal. They just breezed into town and they'll breeze right out again. Nothing needs to change. Sorry, Rekha. Too many bad turns make a bad hand. It's better to walk away from the table than throw good money after bad. We're going to take our business elsewhere. I'll let you deal with your petty squabbles. Please don't go. We can work this out. Hold on, fella. We're not done with you yet. Madam... And again, he ignores me. While I knew our paths would cross eventually, I hadn't anticipated it happening so soon. Forgive me if I seemed rude. I'm still a sore loser. When next we meet, I hope I can make it a much more pleasant experience for both of us. Adieu. Stop right there. Angry woman with a sword and questions. Right here. Miss... Do you believe that I would travel such a distance, associate myself with such disreputable elements, and venture into the unknown alone? Currently, your side and mine are circling each other. Are you prepared to start our game without knowing if it's to be chess or war? This is not the time. But that time will come. And what a wonderful day that shall be. Ladies, it has been a delight. There's There's something something about about that that man. You ruined everything. Do you know how much money you just cost me? Do you know how little I care? I challenge you. You what? For leadership. I challenge you. Are you sure about this? Listen, in light of our history, I'm going to allow you to unsay what you just said. You're right. Good. You've still got a brain in your head. I'm doing this all wrong. Where are you going? Attention, Shiverskar. My name is Zinia, and I have challenged Rekha for leadership of the gang. There, now it's official. You fool. You arrogant fool. Now there's no turning back. Oh, well, it's your blood. First time to choose a champion. Let the captain step forth. These are my five captains. Each of them has shown their metal, bled and killed for Shiverskar. Any one of them would fight and die for me. As is tradition, you may choose which one you wish to fight. Think carefully. The guy in the middle is short, but I fought enough short guys to- All of them. What did you say? I choose all five captains. One at a time? No, all at once. My three against your five. The odds very much in your favor. Unless you think your family members can't handle fighting three women? Very well. My five against your three. What are the conditions? Submission or unconsciousness. I hate the job interview process, so I'd rather not diminish my future team. Fine, then. Prepare the circle. I'll give you a moment to prepare. Okay, what are we doing? I needed to hit her where it hurts. Defeating her would do little. I need to remove her from what she most prizes and free these people from her reign. But five on three? You wanted a chance to test out our new hardware? (laughs) What better opportunity than in a fight for our lives? I can think of a dozen better opportunities. (laughs) And what do you mean fight for our lives? The rules say it was submission. On our side, yes. But if you look across the battlefield, you'll see Rekka giving her captains the green light to kill us all. Can she do that? In battle, such things happen, yes? There is no referee here. The odds are not only against us, but they're aiming to kill while we're just trying to wound. Yes, thrilling, isn't it? (laughs) Not the word I was going to use. Saffron. Goldie. If I didn't think we were up to the challenge, I never would have brought you two into it. When we three stand together, no one can tear us apart. You're right. That's the spirit. Also, if we don't defeat them definitively and resoundingly, the rest of the gang will tear us apart before we can reach the exit. 
Wait, what? Allons-y. Our side is ready. Shall we begin? The battle begins at the crack of the whip and continues until one side has triumphed. Good luck. We don't need luck. Uh, yes, we do. We absolutely do. Oh, right. I mean, thank you. Bonsoir. Well, your blade is certainly fearsome. I have yet to test the strength of mine. I was hoping you'd help me in this. Yes, my blade is very quick. I seem to have gotten six slices on you compared to your... None on me. Perhaps... Excellent swing. If my arm had been unguarded, I would have sliced it right open. Hmm, look at that. Not one etching damaged. But I'm afraid I won't let you try it again. You are very strong, and in a fair fight, I think you'd have me. But I don't fight fair. You, sir, are unarmed, bleeding, and confused. Do you yield, or do you want to see more of what this sword can do? Excellent choice. How we doing? I have one down. Filigree was very fast and very efficient. My foe ended up practically naked by the end. <laughs> Not sure if he was more tired or embarrassed, but he yielded. How about you? Mine was big and bold, but I don't think he was used to going this long. Hard to find a man with the stamina to go the distance. Do you get it? <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> I remember. But I preferred the shorter sessions for now obvious reasons. Let's check on Zinnia. Fun, then, if you're so stubborn. I'll let your friends tell you how this fight ended. Some people are so stubborn. Hello, ladies. That's three down. Just two left. Are those twins? Behind the masks, it's hard to tell, but they've been dancing in and out of the fights. I crossed swords with them a few times. Looks like they were hanging back, waiting for us to get tired. And are we? Hell no. I'm just getting my second wind. And Pragmatist is just getting warmed up. How had she been performing? Like we were made for each other. And Lady Voss was right. The mechanism has been working perfectly. It is a small switch at the top of the hilt, correct? Exactly. Interesting. I seem to have one as well. And Rowan didn't say anything about it? Not a word. Then I'd advise caution. And I'd advise pushing it and seeing what happens. Well, I respect your opinion, my love. In this case, it is better to know. Then make it quick. Our two final challengers are making their move. Here goes. <gasps> Your sword is on fire, and it's green. Are you all right? Yes, the fire is moving up the blade. My hand is protected. Well, then make the most of it. Shiverscar warriors, yield to my rule, or you will be engulfed by the flames of Libertine. Bow to your new leader. What are you doing? Get up! The fight is not over! Is there anyone here who would challenge my rule? Then by the laws of Shiverskar, I claim leadership. Reka, you are banished. Never to speak with any of us again, nor our rivals. But, but... Banishment? Or the flame. The choice is yours. That's more mercy than she would have shown you. Okay, so now we're running a gang? Actually, I've got an idea about that. Here's to Budapest. Long may it stand. Egeise Gedre. Was that Hungarian? It was. Do you speak it? No, but I know how to toast pretty much anywhere in the world. Getting drunk is a worldwide pastime. Just think, after all that disruption, we did end up uniting the gangs. Rekha's dream made real, but not in the way she imagined. I think Jolan will do a fine job leading the new group, now that she has a different set of marching orders. 
a new swashbuckling ladies debate society location? No, I wouldn't hold her to that. They deserve to find their own way, help people the way they can, whatever that ends up being. And if they get out of line, they'll need to answer to Zinnia and her flaming sword of justice. <laughs> yes, that was quite a surprise in the battle. Why didn't you tell me about it? What fun would that have been? A couple of copper sulfate inserts, a bit of flint, some amazing ingenuity, and you've got quite the party trick. It doesn't last long, but it does make an impression. It certainly did. Do our swords have anything like that? Guess you'll have to try them out and see. So is this a sit back and reflect on our lives party or the other kind? What's the other kind? We all get drunk, lower the lights, and get weird with each other. <laughs> I know which one I'd prefer. Guess we'll see how the night goes. Ooh, Saffron's feeling rowdy. But before anything happens... Sit back and reflect. I knew it. I wanted to say thank you. Specifically to you, Zinnia. To me? For what? Nearly getting you torn apart by a Hungarian gang? No, for letting us in. You took us on a tour of your past, and we got to see both highs and lows. It wasn't what you expected. Trips through your past rarely are. But you faced it, and you shared it. That takes courage. I'm proud of you, and know that we all love you. I'm still undecided. Fine, we both love you, and the mean old lady in the chair is coming around. I could take that sword back, you know. Try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this has been fun, but I'm very much looking forward to being back at my home, in my bed. Yeah, I don't think I'm built for train life. I never thought I'd think of Massalia as home, but I really do. Guess you need a home to feel homesick. And now you have one. Sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. The formality is moving in, and they know a lot about us. Yeah, like a lot, a lot. Who was that Monty guy, and why was he making eyes at you? He wasn't making eyes at me. Oh, yes, he was. I know the look. He wanted you in the most serious way. For revenge? That is not what he had in mind. <laughs> Boy, was he barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> wrong tree? He was in the wrong forest. I'm not the jealous sort, but uh, even I felt my temperature rising. Regardless, he's a high-ranking member of this new threat. We need to gather up and figure out our next move. And home is the best place for that. And what about you, Rowan? What about me? We have plenty of space at this society. I was born under a wandering star. I've still got roads left to travel. I suppose this is as good a time as any to tell you. I'm taking the train. And your engineer. Bella? Does she know about this? She does. And she doesn't want to stick around in your town either. Mostly because there are people there wishing to kill her. Ah, yes. We'll take care of that, too. I'm adding it to the list. Is this a train robbery? I was hoping it wouldn't be anything so crass. You want to take our train? The one we worked so hard to assemble, that has been our home away from home. You think you can take it? Just like that. I aim to try. If so, here are my terms. When we arrive in Massalia, you will stay with us for two days. On the night of the second day, we will have a tremendous going away party for you. You will attend, you will eat, drink, and be merry. And then, be on your way. Counterproposal. I will eat and drink, but refuse to be merry. I'm afraid that's a non-negotiable point for us. Fine. But jovial is as high as I can go. We'll take it. But why on the second day? Because the first night is the homecoming party, of course. Of course. Is that it? No. You also need to roll back into town at least twice a year. Spring and fall. Agreed. Anything else? Yeah. Don't let anybody steal the train. They'll live to regret it, if they live. Now, enough sentimentality. Let's get serious. We're going to play a drinking game. It's called Never Have I Ever. I don't know if that's a good idea. Why? It sounds fun. How do you play? You've actually played it before. I have? I don't remember. Exactly. You went up against me and... Uh... Well, you lost. And in doing so, you lost the whole night. I can take you. 
Mm, you think so? Well then, we've got two days on Tune Massalia and a fully stocked bar. Let's get to know each other. All right then, never have I ever... Today's adventure, words, actions, and intent. I head, those ladies can really put it away. The ill news is ready to depart. Let me just finish annotating this and... Done. Are you sure about this? Leaving them alone now? They're three grown women. Stronger, smarter, and more resolved than ever before. They'll be fine. But everything you found out, you really aren't going to tell them? It's all rumor, gossip, and speculation. No, it's not. You've got volumes of notes all lined up on your shelf. Shiver Scars, Thirty Thorns, The Barbary Bandits, Streets and Ort, The Seven Thunders, Deuteronomy. Some of these you haven't even told me about. Like, who's the illustrious Quill? It's not a person. It's a group. And pray you never have to know more. When you ask me to work for you... You have a cunning brain. And they just wanted to make you their chauffeur. I told you I wouldn't lie to the ladies. Omission isn't lying. It's just uh, a matter of timing. You know trouble's coming for them. You know what the formality is all about. You even know who's running it. And they will too. In time. But honestly, how would that go? Hello. Someone who knows you well wants to hurt you deeply, and there's nothing you can do about it but wait for the axe to fall. Have a nice day. No. Ignorance is our gift to them. It feels wrong. Time to grow up, Belladonna. Someone is gathering forces against our ladies. Someone new. The formality is just one piece in a larger game. We don't know the opponent or the rules or the order of play. Which is why we keep it to ourselves and find out what we can. What we know is that trouble is coming for the ladies and all that stand with them. And the battleground will be in Massalia. And what is our job? We look, we listen, we learn. And we live to tell the tale. Now, we need to make way. We're already behind schedule, and evil doesn't take holidays. Yes, ma'am. Sleep well, Miss Alia. Enjoy the quiet while it lasts. Today's adventure, words, actions, and intent, was written, directed, and edited by Kyle Olson. Our producer and sound designer is that irresistible force, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Our talent wrangler is that unmovable object known as Brooke Unverfirth, starring Amy Shaw as Zinnia, Anastasia Plum as Saffron, Kara Gallo as Goldie, Shelley Trujillo as Bella, Valerie Meese as Jolin, Kathleen Ann as Rika, and Chrissy Lentz as Lady Voss. Our theme song is written and performed by Headley Knights, and our interstitial music is Intended Force by Kevin McLeod. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Ox and Hair so you won't miss the next thrilling adventure. The Swashbuckling Ladies Debate Society is a Ox and Hair media production. Old format, new ideas. Music